Hi, and welcome back to Football Made Simple. We're back with another in-game analysis as the Manchester derby took centre stage at Old Trafford, as Oli and Pep once again locked horns. In a match where United needed the victory more, they did come away victors, thanks to goals from Martial and McTominay and poor keeping from Edison. The XG indicated a deserved win for United, but what tactics did both managers use that led to this? Well, let's take a look. A quick reminder of both teams' formations. United once again used a 5-2-1-2, whilst Pep stuck with his favourite 4-3-3, as you can see on the One Football app. For match updates, stats and news about your favourite teams, you can check out the One Football app absolutely free through the link in the description below. As City had the lion's share of possession, we'll assess what they did in the attack first. When deep, in the first half, as usual City looked to play out from the back and keep controlled possession. But United were fairly disciplined in pressing in an organised shape, and their front three was crucial to this. Martial and James would press the centre-backs and Fernandes stood on Rodri to try and limit him. At times, they would allow Edison to have the ball with no options to try and force him long. But sometimes, when Fernandes pressed Edison, he could use his cover shadow to still cover Rodri and have Edison under pressure. However, City could break this press, as Edison could pass to a centre-back, drawing a forward into the press. The ball then goes back to Edison, and the forward is now drawn into pressing Edison, who can then play central, and Rodri's wall pass will then find City's centre-back, who now has the space to move out, and there is now a 2 vs 1 against Fernandes in the midfield. Although, interestingly, this almost led to a goal for United, with Martial pressing Edison. And this Martial chance did sway the XG, with the chance being rated as 0.93, coming from an error rather than chance creation, which does show some of the shortfalls of XG as a metric. When now higher up the field, United dropped into a mid-block 5-3-2. In the first half, City looked to build up with the back three, with Cancelo tucking into this back three. United did well to stay compact by switching the forwards from sitting on the centre backs as they did during the high press, and instead they now sat on City's midfield to stop progression into the final third using their cover shadows. Zinchenko would then often tuck into this midfield region, attracting attention from either Fred or Matic, thus freeing space for Gundogan wide. City preferred to have Gundogan in this space rather than Zinchenko due to his superior passing range. Interestingly, the City shape meant City often played with no fullbacks in the first half, so Foden and Sterling had to stay wide. Attacking through the left was their main ploy, as shown by the average attacking sides, and this isolated Sterling against Juan Bissaka, which seemed to be their tactic. But Juan Bissaka is one of the best defensive fullbacks around, and had 8 tackles in the game, keeping Sterling limited. In addition, his 1v1 ability meant that Lindelof didn't have to back him up and potentially create space in the half space for City to take advantage of. Fred and Matic were also sure to shift effectively to prevent any combination play around the edge of the box, but Bernardo was often free in the right half space, but when he was found, the left centre back would be on him before he could make an impact. In the second half, Pep tweaked his tactics. They now built up in the traditional two centre back shape. So, off the build up, the full backs now became the free options. He now wanted his fullbacks to overlap more, as shown by Mendy coming on for Zinchenko. With the fullbacks providing width now, Mares and Sterling could drift centrally more often to try and outnumber Fred and Matic in these central zones. But by dropping into a deeper block, they kept City's play in front of them, keeping them at bay. But with Mares here, instead of Foden, when Williams came out to press, Mares had the pace and natural instinct of a winger to make a run in behind here, and this led to Sterling and City's only big chance, as shown by the XG time map. The tucked in wingers also drew in United's wingbacks, allowing City to switch the play more often, but they did not combine well enough with the inside forwards to cause any problems. United were most dangerous on the break, however. 
When City were building up with a back three or the back two, as soon as United won the ball, Fernandes tended to ghost in behind Rodri, who usually advances fairly high when City have the ball. From here, Martial and James would make runs behind the City fullbacks. James especially often found himself one versus one against Otamendi, and United had a lot of success in this manner and created most of their chances from this pattern. But what were their controlled build-up patterns? Let's take a look. On the occasions when United built up, their fullbacks pushed slightly higher. City, who usually press in a 4-4-2, switched to a 4-3-3 press instead to ensure that each centre-back was covered. This was backed up in the midfield, as they went man-to-man -man here as well, so the United wing-backs became the easy outlets. At times, James would drop deep in front of them to then allow Bruno Fernandes to make the run into the full backspace. And generally, when United had the ball high in controlled regions, they were happy to overload the box looking for the cross. But overall, both teams were poor in attack, but United would be happy with the win. I believe Juan Bissaka was the most tactically vital player, stopping City's main threat and being so good that there was no need to double up on Sterling, which was crucial. But who was your most important player in this match and where do you think United will finish this season? Drop it down below. And would you be interested in seeing a breakdown of Juventus vs Inter, although it will be a day late? If so, give the video a like and comment down below. Check out some other videos at the end of this. But that's all for today and remember, keep it simple.